Good morning, campers. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. It is super early in the morning, like 4.20 in the morning. 4.19. And, uh, yeah, let's see if we can grab another job and get on the road before the sun even comes up today. Get me back in the cab. There we go. All right. Uh, let's uh, start. Job market. You know what? Just use the mouse. Just use the mouse. I've learned this lesson by now is that when you're in the menu, just use the mouse. Uh, where are we? We're up here in... No, we're not in Sacramento. We're up here in Redding. Uh, okay, so obviously the number one destination would be Jackpot, though I'd also like to grab Hornbrook if I can. Ooh, there's one to Hornbrook. So that's the one I'm looking at for now. That'll be a really fast one if we grab it, though. Eli, Oxnard, Barstow, LA, Barstow, Barstow, LA. Hmm. Alright, let's do... Let's do the Hornbrook job, and then we'll try and get to Eureka after that. So let's go for it. No, 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 no. Wrong button, wrong button, wrong button, wrong button. That's what I meant to do. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so where do y'all think that we're headed? Because I'm... Picking up a digger of some kind. I don't know where exactly this will be. Right, we have to go right. With any luck, this will get us some more lovely levels because we need more levels in order to unlock um, better stuff for the the, uh, the truck. Because right now I'm still running a day cab, which looks just absolutely silly. No, no, no. There we go. Which looks really silly, considering I've only been back to my uh, my main base, like, once. <laughs> Though I've been trying to do sleeping only at hotels and motels so far. I have not actually kept that. I have I've had to break that little rule for myself once or twice. But not... Ooh, nice truck. But not to too much of a degree. Another Walbert. I want to pick up and drop off at more Walberts. Ooh, that's like a distribution center. Ah, a bitumen. Doink, doink. Uh, where's the little thing to start the pickup? Wait a minute. This place is identical to the uh, place I dropped off in Santa Cruz the other day. Oh, there, there's the thing. There's the thing. I went in the wrong door, I'm sorry. I turned off pedestrians. Like, the the only man in the entire world. <laughs> I've, I definitely turned them off. This might be super convenient if this is where I think it is. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. See, I knew what I was doing when I came in the wrong direction. I knew exactly what I was doing. Kerchunk. Nailed it. Let's get this thing out of here. So we've got eight hours to deliver this, and we should be there in no time. So we're just heading up to uh, up to Hornbrook, which is the farthest north destination in uh, California. So that will knock out a uh, difficult to get to city off of our exploration thingamabob. Our map. That's what we call it. An exploration thingamabob is the map. Um, <laughs> So that will remove that particular city. And with any luck, we'll be able to go from there out west and get the get a few more of the California cities. Or straight to Jackpot. I will accept straight to Jackpot as well. I kind of want to go left. I kind of want to go left. But no. Aw. 
no one coming, I'm going. Made it. Made it. Do I need gas? No, I've got plenty of gas. Excellent. I don't remember filling up in the last episode, but I must have. Yay. Don't hit the wall. Don't hit the wall. Ah. This kind of turn is not made for thumbsticks. Did it. We did it. We're good. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. Come on, truck. You can do it. Come on, Charlie. You can do it, Charlie. You can do it. Yes. Yes. Okay. Awesome. This is really cool scenery. We're up in like the uh, we're up in like the redwood forests of Northern California, with the creepy, floaty birds that look like just squares. Uh, ignore the birds. Look at the trees. Look at the trees. The trees are cool. The trees are cool. I should probably have my headlights on. I am so lucky I did not get a ticket at any point during this episode so far. How did I not see a single police car while I didn't have my headlights on? Ugh. Also, that's weird. None of the oncoming cars are like flashing their headlights at me or anything. Or maybe I got my graphic settings too low for that. In uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2, oncoming cars would flash their lights at you if you didn't have yours on. Which I thought was really cool. A nice little lake here. Siskiyou country. I've never heard of that before. Is that a real place? I mean, it has to be a real place, right? Everything in this game is real. That car is flying. Hmm. It's not even a Ford Anglia. What is this? Yeah, Siskiyou. It is saying Siskiyou. off the highway just to get right back on that highway. I mean, I've done that before, but usually it involves at least turning around, not getting back on in the same direction, right? I don't know. Is there, like, one delivery spot up here and that's it? Is it another one of those towns where there's only one place to go? They've got a truck stop. They at least have a truck stop. Ooh, that is steep. Oh, it's just a roadwork zone. Wow. This is super lame. This is super lame. Oop. I have a red signal, don't I? Yeah, I do. Do I get, like, special permission since I'm delivering here? There's no one coming. The road's blocked. Why can't I get a green? There's no one behind me. Alright, there's no one around. I'm just gonna go. Because there, like, there's no way traffic could get down here. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> this road is closed. Why is that a fine? and let's turn off the flashers and the engine and drop the trailer money 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 yay digger 500 delivered from Reading to Hornbrook sweet didn't get a long distance bonus but that wasn't really a long trip all right I already know the answer to this but let's see if there's any jobs out of Hornbrook because <laughs> there's there's straight up nothing there's no one here to pick up from yeah, so of course there's no jobs, which means I have to I have to bobtail all the way back to See, I learned that word. I learned that word bobtailing. No no trailer. I have to bobtail all the way back to Reading for a job. 
That sucks. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be a job out to Eureka when I get there. No point in checking now. I'm not going to get there fast enough. You suck! Let's at least see what this is up here before we go back the other direction. What is the excuse for this road being closed? It appears to be a truck accident. Look, pedestrians, even though I turned them off. That one man at the uh, place we picked up from is not the only, it's not the only human in the entire world. Oh man, that dude is in trouble. That dude is in so much trouble. I guess I should fill up before I head back. Why would you use that rest area when there's a truck stop right here? Why? It's not like there's enough people in this game for parking to be an issue. Oh neat, that looks like a fuel thing. Maybe you can, uh, maybe if you get the tankers, you can actually deliver up here. See, that would be cool. That would actually give this place a little more, a little more character, I think. Turning, turning. Oh, you know what I bet the reason that light never changed was? I bet it was because I was partway into the uh, into the lane, and it was like, oh, I can't change. There's someone still in there, and it's not going to change while you're still in the way. There's, like, three rest areas up here. What is this? What is this nonsense? This was such a waste of time and money. Like... The only reason to come up here is to just mark that town off your map. Why are we so slow all of a sudden? Is this like a work zone? What have I done to deserve this? Why are we doing 35 on an interstate? Why? Make up your mind, police officer. Pick a lane. Oh my god, what are you doing? I, I, guys, I think this cop might be drunk. He's swerving all over the road. He's still doing it. Is he, like, trying to pass the car in front of him and then seeing the other car there and changing his mind? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, I marked Redding on my GPS so that we actually get there and don't make any mistakes or wrong turns or anything. Alright, Mr. Ambulance, I need to be in that lane so I'm not in everyone's way. Okay, Mr. Ambulance. Mr. Ambulance, you're gonna need to go faster. Ambulance, that was mean. That was super mean. You're a jerk. You know that? A life saving jerk. Alright, we're gonna pull over for just a moment. Alright, let's see what jobs are available in Reading. I wanna get another job in. I've only been recording for 26 minutes, and most of that was just driving back. That was so frustrating. Where am I going? This Eureka? Eureka. Let's get a job to Eureka. All right, we're going to do that one, but we're going to change the route. <laughs> we're going to change the route so we cross the bridge, okay? This might be interesting. This might be one of those trips where I actually have to stop and sleep on the way, which hasn't happened in a while. Oh, obviously, if it gets super late, we're going to do that. Uh-oh. 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 Go faster. Let's go faster. We're in a time dilation zone. No! I don't want time dilation. I don't want time dilation. Is it back? It's back. Okay. We're good. Everything's fine. Because, of course, the truck entrance would be the front, the front gate. <laughs> it makes sense to someone. Yes, I want that one. Take the job. Is this the 
the same trailer we parked? No, different trailer. All right. Uh, let's actually... Nailed it. All right. Well, normally I'd go out the back because that seems like the smart thing to do, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get out the back, so we're going to have to pull forward here because there's a car parked right next to me on the right here. Which is just oh, so frustrating. So we need to swing out a little bit to the left. Make sure not to hit the cars on my left. And then I can swing the trailer over to the main exit. Success! I really like delivering cars in this game. That seems to be just like... It's really, really good... They're uh, good expensive jobs when you get them. And that's that's pretty nice. Also, it's just kind of neat to look in the rearview mirror and see cars on the back of your truck. <laughs> but I'm, I'm a nerd, so that's probably why. Uh, I really kind of... Oh, oh, it's a low installment. I really want to kind of go down this road. I'm going down this road. Forget you. I've got 24 hours. We've got plenty of time. Let's do it. Let's be adventurous. And we get to skip the scale this way. This way, because I've I've been weighed once. That's all I need. I don't ever need to be weighed again. <laughs> it's just an annoyance in this game. So there's no point in ever doing it again. So you know what? We're gonna avoid the scales when we can, especially when the speed limit is the same on this road as it is on the road with the scales. And it is <laughs> 55 on both. So let's do it. Farm simulator. Oh, was that a stop? Ah! All right, well, that was, that was unfortunate. That was a, uh, I wasn't expecting a turn there, <laughs> for one. I thought this was a nice straight road, and um, invisible wall was highly unexpected. All right, let's see if that actually cost me any damage. A little bit of damage, a little bit of damage. Uh, not too much. I think they're pretty gentle with the, uh, I think they try and be kind of gentle with the invisible walls here. I assume this is going to be like 35. 55 still. No! And we're stopped again. Whoa! That guy just flew super low. Or he just took off. <gasps> That's an airfield! Oh! Cool! That's so cool! There's an airplane out in the... Oh! This is neat! I'm so glad I came this way! Come on, take off. Take off. Take off for land. Someone take off for land. Please? Pretty please? I want to see this. This is cool. I don't mind being stopped here now. Do something cool. Do something cool. Please. Pretty please. Alright, well, I'm not going to sit here while I've got a green light. I want to see a plane take off or land. I think I did already, but I wasn't. I didn't realize that was what was happening at first. I like this road. I'm really glad I came this way. This is so much better than the highway. Also, didn't get weighed. Ha 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 ha. Laugh at all the people in the scales. <laughs> Is it illegal to avoid interstates to avoid the scales? I don't know. Hmm. That might be an interesting question. For someone who actually does this for a living. Okay, so far so good. We're getting off of this highway and onto, I think this is Interstate 80. Yeah, this is 80, which will take us to San Rafael, and from there, across the Golden Gate Bridge and into San Francisco. I am super excited, and we've still got, like, three in-game hours before I want to consider sleeping. Alright, guys, 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 guys. Guys, speed, please. Faster, maybe. No. No 
sleeping. We're fine. You've got hours before you need to sleep. Oh, that turned red. Oh, dear. Um, maybe I started a little too early today. <laughs> Uh-oh. All right, next rest area then. I know, I know. You're just so tired. So tired. Okay, this is a cool road. This looks awesome. I'm finding all the cool scenery places in Northern California on this trip. This is great. I'm just kind of disappointed that I'm not, probably not going to go to Redding that often. <laughs> just because there's not much up there. Though it had a lot of jobs. I'll give it that. Redding had lots of jobs. So that might be a pretty common destination. I wonder where that goes. There must be a pickup point down there. Uh-oh. Oh, neat. There's one of the roadwork drop-off places. I think those are just like the coolest little thing. You actually deliver to roadwork sites now. That's really cool, guys. You are getting tired. Find a place to rest. No! I don't want to. I know. I'm working on it. Come on. Soon. Very soon. Don't hit that car. Don't hit that car. Don't hit that car. Look, car, you're going to need to move. You're going to need to move. There you go. You know, I was a little close, but I wasn't that close. I'm just going to burn through, like, all my remaining sleep time sitting at this stoplight because we're not in the time... Oh, we are? No, we're not in the time dilation zone. The time is going too fast. No! Ooh, there's quite a lot of storage in the ceiling. You idiots. I better not get a red light violation for this. I was in the intersection already. That was great. Wow, this is quite a lot of rain. This is quite a lot of rain all of a sudden. And I'm going to have to sleep through it. No! I want to enjoy the nice the nice San Francisco weather. Ooh, thunderstorm. Fine. All right. So we've reached the hotel. Motel. And the uh, the trailer parking is around the side here. Not far from where I pull in on... Uh, for my cab-only parking. We are safely in the tree and out of the way. Let us set the parking brake down to neutral. And engine off. Alright, let's sleep and do this delivery tomorrow. <laughs> should I do an, should I break the episode here? Oh, maybe I should. Hmm, that would be weird. Yeah, sure, let's break the episode here. My name is Elio Dare, Azar Angel17 on Twitch, Twitter, Xbox Live, and Steam. I hope you enjoyed the series. Drop in, let me know how you like it. And uh, next episode, we'll be waking up and delivering to San Francisco over the Golden Gate Bridge. Make sure you tune in for that one, because I think that's going to look really cool. <laughs> Have a great day.